Everybody, it's the War Hipster here coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial and today we are painting the Iron World Great Cannon. Yes, this wonderful new artillery piece sent to me early by Games Workshop to build up and paint for all of you and that is exactly what we are going to be doing. Now you might be wondering where on earth is the crew? Well, the crew are here. They have been built separately because I've learned my lesson from the Astra Militarum Field Ordnance Batteries and it's just going to be a little bit easier to do this. So what I've done is I've built them separately and I've mounted them with a little dot of super glue on some 25mm bases so they should be easy to snap off when it comes to full assembly and the cannon has been painted, well primed I should say, in grey sear and I've primed the crew in wraith bone just for something a little bit different. You don't have to do it this way, you could do them as grey sear as well but I thought, why not? We'll have some nice warm crew next to a very cold, menacing cannon. So we're going to paint the cannon first and then we'll paint the crew. And well, with all that in mind, we're going to jump in and we're going to start. Now we're going to be painting this in the colours of Hammerhall Aksha. And the colour we're going to be using first is Blood Angels Red. We're going to be applying this over the top of the wood on the shield of the cannon. I'm just going to start here. Take it a panel at a time, make sure we get a nice smooth coat here. Not wanting to get any kind of coffee staining going on, so we're just gonna quickly do that little bit just there. So as to avoid that, we'll just check that we haven't overlapped on the back, which we haven't, which is great. So now we can move on to the rest of the front. Just like this. So with all of that Blood Angels red applied front and back, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some wild wood and we're going to apply this over the top of the rest of the wood on the model. So I'm going to start just around here in this corner on the wheel. Like that. And then we're going to move on to the frame. So with all that wildwood now applied, what we're going to do is we're going to take some rattling grime and we're going to apply this over the top of all of the ropes. So we're going to start back here. 
We've got one there. We've got the anchor ropes on the cannon. And we've got the ones actually tying the thing to the carriage. And with that done, we're then going to take some side gore brown. We're going to apply this to these large leather loops. Again, there's three of these. One up here, and two on those anchors. So with that now done, we're going to take some skeleton hoard and we're going to apply this over the top of the diamond here on the front. Like so. We're going to apply this over the top of this bit of parchment, like that. And we're going to apply this over the top of all of the shell wraps. So with that skeleton horde applied, we're then going to take some Black Legion. We're going to start applying this over the top of all of our frames and any other black details you want to have. So what we're going to do is kind of getting this over the top of all of this sort of section on the shield. Like that. But also, on the cannon itself, we're looking for these kinds of sections. So with all of that Black Legion applied all the way around, as you can see, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Agrax Herb Shade and we're going to apply this over the top of this bit of parchment just here, like that. And we're going to apply it over these two bits of parchment, just here and here. And with that done, we're then going to take some Griff Hound Orange and we're going to apply this over the last remaining bit of parchment. Like that. So with all that parchment now coloured in, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down iron warriors and we're going to apply this over pretty much all of the remaining details. And in fact, you can apply this over all of the remaining details if you want to. Um, we are going to be adding a second metallic for some of the more decorative features, but if you want to get this over the top of everything, you absolutely can do. That's not a problem. With all of that Iron Warriors applied to pretty much the entire thing, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Retributor armor and we're going to apply this to our remaining details. So this is going to be the, for lack of a better word, ram on the front. 
Not that you're going to be ramming anything with this thing. We're going to be applying this over the top of the thing up here. It's the loader. Like that. And we're going to apply this over the top of the lighter. Like that. And over the top of the head bit and the helmet down there. So with that all done, we've got our base coats on on the Great Cannon itself. So it's time to add some shades to it. And the first of these is going to be some Caraber Crimson. We're going to apply this over the top of all the red. With all of that Caraber Crimson applied, we're then going to take some Agrax Earth Shade. I'm going to use this over the top of the gold. And with that Agrax Earth Shade applied, we're now going to take some Null Oil and we're going to apply this over top of all the silver and all the black. And so with that done, we've just got one last thing to do, which is to take a roughly one-to-one -one mix of contrast medium and black templar. And now we're going to apply this additionally over the top of the cannon itself. Which even though we've done it with the null oil, we're going to get this really gorgeous black metal. Just like that. And what we're also going to do is apply this over the spare firing canister. Like that. And then we're also going to take this mix and across the bottom of the red wood, we're going to apply this in a stippling motion. So we're just going to start over here. We're going to apply this like this, coming along up to around about there. I'm going to wash the brush. 
and then smooth out that transition a little bit by just stippling a clean brush there. So similarly here, and apply it across like that. Wash the brush. And then just doing that across the entirety of the cannon's shield. So with all those shades applied, our cannon is now what I would call a war hipster battle ready. And it's looking pretty cool. I'm really into this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to highlight it, then we'll work on the crew. So the colour we're going to be using first is some thinned down Evil Sun Scarlet. And we're going to be using this to highlight all of the red of the shield. Now we don't need to go down into where we've done that bit of black. You just want to kind of stick to the areas that are still quite red. With that evil sun scarlet all applied, we are then going to take some thinned down Bestigore flesh. I'm going to use this to add some little spot highlights in amongst all that red. So for example, just here. Like that, around the little port window. But also over the top of the grain. So with that done, we've got a lovely looking red shield. So what we're going to do now, is we're gonna highlight one of the biggest areas here, which is all of this kind of Black Legion stuff. So the color we're gonna be using to highlight that is some thinned down Administratum Gray. And well, the easiest thing to do here is to just take it one section at a time and just move along and across the model So with that all done, what we're now going to do is we're going to work on the next big area, which is going to be all the silver. And this is going to include the cannon, which we've done with that black wash as well. And the colour we're going to be using to highlight all of the silver is some thinned down iron breaker. So with that all done, the cannon's looking really good. We've only got a couple of things left to do on it. And one of those is to take some thinned down Liberator Gold and use this to highlight all of the gold.
with that Liberator gold applied to all of the gold, what we're then going to do is take some thinned down Karak stone. And we're going to use this to add a couple of little spot highlights here and there to all the wood. Now really what we're looking for is just the kind of really sharp edges here. Like that one. And these large ones along the side of the carriage and the loader. Just like this, nothing too intensive. You can do more of this if you like. But ultimately, if you do too much, it'll change the fundamental color of the carriage, which we don't want to do. And so with that done, we're now going to finish the cannon off by taking some Screaming Skull and using this to highlight all of our bone areas. So with that all done, our cannon is now finished and it looks absolutely fantastic. So we're gonna pop it to one side and we're gonna grab up our crew. Here they are. So the color we're gonna be using first for these, and just as a quick refresh, they have been primed in wraith bone instead of the gray sear of the cannon itself. The color we're gonna be using first for these is skeleton horde. And we're gonna be applying this over the top of their shirts. So for example, on this guy, his shirt is here, whereas for our other one, it's kind of more of an over tunic. But we'll get this one done and then I'll show you what I mean. We've got this bit in the middle as well. like that. However, on our other one, this lady here, it's like the overshirt type thing. So this section. With that skeleton horde all applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some gore grunt of fur and we're going to apply this over the top of this gentleman's apron and we're going to apply this over the top of our other crew members' 
shirt and trousers. that gore grunt of fur applied we're then going to take some flesh tear as red and we're going to apply this over the top of the gore grunt of fur So with that all done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some rattling grime and we're going to apply this over this individual's trousers. And with that done, we're now going to take some Cygore Brown and we're going to apply this over the top of pretty much all of the remaining leather details, excluding the bottom of the boots and the gloves on both of our individuals. However, on this guy, what we're also going to do, apart from his belt and his pouch and the wraps on his boots, we're also going to apply this over the top of his face. So with that all done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Black Legion and we're going to apply this over the top of those boots and gloves, this individual's hair. So with that now done, we're going to take some wild wood and we're going to apply this over any wood. So there's the mallet on the other guy, but on this individual we have an abacus. So we need to apply this over the top of.
like that. We're also going to apply it over her hair. And with that all done, then you can take some Gilliman flesh and apply this over top of this face. And with that Gilliman flesh applied, we're then going to take some Blood Angels Red. I'm going to apply this over the little cord. Just here. And over the top of the beads on the abacus. That Blood Angel's red applied, we're now going to take some Skeleton Horde once again and we're going to apply this over the top of this bottle. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Iron Warriors. We're going to apply this over pretty much all of our remaining details, excluding the kind of navigational tool, which is name is forgotten in the hands of our other crew member. We're going to be applying this over top of this helmet. And because we did the bauble on the top of the other helmet, on the ground of the cannon, a different color, we're also going to avoid the same thing on this one down here. And with that done, we're then going to take some thinned down retributor armor and use this over the top of the remaining details. So with that all done, it's now time to add some shades. And the first of these is going to be some Reichland Flesh Shade. And we're gonna apply this over the top of all of our dark red, all of our Cygor Brown, and both sets of flesh. But in the instance of this gentleman, we're also going to apply this over the top of the bottle. And with that done, we're then going to use some Targor Raid Shade. I'm going to use this to shade both the gold and the silver. And the black. Almost forgot that. With those shades applied, our crew is now at what I would call a war hipster battle ready, and they're looking pretty cool. So it's now time to take them up to the next level, and then we're all done with the cannon. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by taking some thinned down Screaming Skull, and we're going to use this to highlight all of the bone. So this is the 
shirts, and in this gentleman's case, his tankard slash bottle. With that screaming skull all applied, we're then gonna take some thinned down Dawnstone. I'm gonna use this to highlight all of the black details. So with that all done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some thinned down squig orange and we're gonna use this to highlight our red leather. So with that all done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some thinned down Gawthor Brown. I'm gonna use this to highlight all of our dark brown leather. That Gawthor brown all applied, we're then gonna take some Night Quester flesh. I'm gonna use this to highlight this gentleman's face. And with that done, we're then gonna take some flayed one flesh. I'm gonna use this to highlight this individual's face. So with that done on both of their faces, what we're going to do is we're going to take a small amount of Black Legion I'm going to apply this over the top of their eyeballs. So with that Black Legion applied, we're then going to take a teeny tiny little dot of Screaming Skull. And apply this in each corner of the eyeballs. Like that. So with that done, what we're now going to do is move on to the metallics. And the colour we're going to be using first is once again Iron Breaker. And we're going to use this to highlight all of the silver. And with that iron breaker all applied, we're now going to finish everything off by taking some thinned down Liberator Gold. Use this to highlight the gold. And then that's it. All that's left to do is to pop these guys onto the base and then base your cannon in the same style as the 
rest of your army. And so with the base complete and a decal added to the front, our Iron World Great Cannon is now finished. And I think it looks absolutely fantastic. It's a real fortified position. Again, very much like the Field Ordnance Battery from the Astra Militarum. Except this one's just cooler in every shape and form possible. <laughs> I mean, look at it, right? It's great and it's gorgeous and it looks wonderful. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel and you'd like to support me further, you absolutely can do so by heading to patreon.com forward slash warhipster, just like all of these wonderful, amazing people have done. And alternatively, you could become a YouTube channel member by clicking on the join button below, exactly like these fabulous folks have done scrolling up on the screen before you. There are so many of you out there that it really takes my breath away and I cannot thank you enough for everything you do as without you I wouldn't be able to keep making these Contrast Plus videos. And if you really like this video and you want to send me a little thanks just click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to make sure you stay up to date don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.